Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Uh, in the last episode, I took two jobs. And uh, for plowing, I just couldn't resist. I need the money. And I'm fin just finishing the second field. As a matter of fact, I've already actually finished it because it lets you finish it before you're done. I think it's a percentage. I, I think if you've completed a percentage of the field, it gives you a completion. But I just, I do want to finish it up because I don't like to leave it undone. So we're going to finish this up and then we're going to go talk to the two ladies and uh, and see if we uh, get paid. Here's the question. I'm not entirely sure if I could stack the missions. I'm hoping I can because I took uh, both of them and I already did all the plowing. I'm assuming that had I not, uh, uh, you know, if I'm not going to get credit for the mission, it probably wouldn't let me have plowed the, seat, the fields what I'm guessing. We'll find out in a minute if I don't get paid for one of them. So this one, this field was shaped really weird. It took me a little bit of work to get it done. Alright, one little patch. Right, close enough for government work. Let's get out this field. And let's see, this is the last one. I think, let me just get off the field here. And off the tractor. Where was the first field? I think it was over here. I want to do the, I want to get paid for the first one first because uh, I did the first one and it never showed. It didn't show on the map that I had done it. I'm, I'm sure I did. Well, I'm not. I'll find out when I get up here and get paid. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's not... Oh, yes, it is. It's still on the map. Okay, it was Scarlet. All right, let's go, let's go talk to Scarlet. She's up this way. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Yeah, hey, we're going to get paid. I like getting paid. And that little blonde's kind of cute. I might start courting her. Like in the old days, you know, you have to start talking until they talk to you. Hanging around. Um, taking flowers and candy and all kind of stuff like that. Where am I? Okay, need to go this way. Is that their farmhouse? That thing is huge. Or is this some kind of business that they run? Whatever it is, there's a soccer field there. I don't know what that is. And I never did get to the soccer field, did I? Because I started talking to these people. Thank you. Here's something for you. All right. Oh, look at that. 1,080 euros. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> nice weather, ain't it? That <laughs> just it drives me nuts. Nice weather, ain't it? It sure is. Um, is there something I can help you with? Well, I already did, but let's ask anyway. Is there something I can help you with? No, not at the moment. All right. Well, your farming uh, advice is lame, so... Thanks. I'll see you around. I'd, I'd spend time trying to talk to her, but I gotta get... I want to get paid for that other job. Uh, well, where's the soccer field? Because I don't see it. Weird. All right. Well, we're going to go talk to the the other lady according to this I just went right over the soccer field I don't know what kind of soccer field it was but it's not very well kept oh there she is she's running someplace where's she running to don't run away I want my money Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. Well, no. 
I was going to say, are, are the females the only ones that give you jobs? But no, they're not, because I've been getting jobs from Oliver and Sam, and so no, no, it's not. It's it varies, I guess. Hello there. Here's something for you. Well, thank you. Uh, all right. I have three thousand uh, euros. Care to talk? Good morning. Good morrow to you. Um, something I can help you with? Is there something I can help you with? No, not at the moment. All right. Um, uh, I still don't understand what this, why you don't look well. Uh, let's see if we can get a little, well, I don't know. Let's see what happens. You really look beautiful today. Yeah. Do you always talk like that? Uh, mm -hmm. Lily seems to like you a bit more. Okay. So let's see if we Hello can get there. a little bit further. Good morning. Um, hello, beauty. So nice to see you. Hello, beauty. So nice to see you. Oh, she thinks he's nice now. First, she thought he was weird. All right, let's see what hello else she has there. to say. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, I came back. Actually, I didn't leave, but that's okay. You look so good. I'm, I don't know what to say. You look so good, it almost makes me speechless. <laughs> good Lord. This guy, you need a new routine. This is kind of, this is kind of like stalkers. This is stalker talk. All right. You look so pretty today. You look so pretty today. Nice to hear you say that. Now, here's the funny part. You look so pretty today. Well, is that a reference that she doesn't always look pretty? But, oh, but today she does? I think it would be a little smoother if you said, I think you look exceptionally pretty today. So that, Hi there. You know. Good morning. All right, one more time, and then I gotta get out of here. You are so beautiful. I wish I'd dream about you tonight. Oh my God, that stalker talk! All right, with that, I gotta go. I mean, this guy—what's he gonna be thinking about tonight when he dreams about her? Come on, that's kind of stalkery. Uh, where did I leave my? Where's my plow? All right, straight ahead. Wow, that was, that guy, he was kind of weird. Where's my plow? Really? Um, where's my plow? Is that the field I just did? Right there? Yeah, this is... Oh, there's my plow. All right, we got to get home. First off, let's see how much fuel... Oh, wow, I used a lot of fuel. Um, I need to get some fuel. Where... Oh, where is the... Okay, what's this down here? Oh, it's just a fuel for sale. All right. Um, service station. Service station, service station. Well, there's one down here. So let's turn around. Get some fuel. I'm gonna follow the yellow brick road here. And it's over by the church, so I'll just use the church as a reference here. I wonder if that's. Uh, the soccer ball up there isn't a soccer field 
Maybe it's just to represent recreational stuff. It could be there's a gym there or something. Just like an icon of a fuel pump means it's a gas station, you know what I mean? Because there's a soccer ball on that too, but that doesn't look like a soccer field. I think it's just a recreational place. I don't see any people over there. Because I'm supposed to be talking to as many people as I can. So... That kind of looks like a golf course over there. I gotta get back and start uh, harvesting my crop. I don't know how long I can stay there. I don't know how long the weather's gonna hold out. From what I could tell now, um, it took me a day and a half. Well, what time is it now? Yeah, it took me almost a day and a half to do that plowing. Because I had to go home and sleep and, and eat and start again at 6 this morning. And then it took me till 11 to finish that plow job. Now, there's the gas station. And it says I'm getting hungry. And I've been going through a lot of food. So, let's... Alright, let's get some gas. Now you can buy gas for the rig here, or you can buy a thousand uh, um, gallons for home. I don't know if I need to spend my money like that yet, because I don't really have a lot of money. So, because this isn't... Okay, I have $3,000. Let's not get too carried away, though. Um, I don't know if I need that much gas at home right now. I might want to use my money for other things right at the moment. Let's run over here and see what's available at this store here. There's a wagon. Now the store on the other side, I stopped at when when I was coming up to get these jobs done. I stopped at this station here. What's this? There seems to be an old hay baler. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. Um, I stopped here for gas, and there's a farm vehicle place here, and it had uh, it had a truck, like a service truck, uh, a poo spreader, what else? It had a mower, it had a cultivator, a tractor, and a cedar, I think. Not a cedar, a fertilized, um, a fertilized spreader, but it didn't have a plow. So let's see what this place has. Okay, this place has a tractor. Now the tractor, I think, was about ninety thousand. Let's see. Um, yeah, ninety thousand. If you want to spell some, if you want to spend some of your social points, you can get it for half price. But I don't know how many social points I got. Let's see. I don't. I don't. I have. Well, wait a minute. No, I don't. It takes ninety. I've only got sixty-three. I'm a long ways off. I have 3,000 and I need 90. Okay, see, here's a cultivator. But there doesn't ever seem to be a plow. I would want a bigger plow, but I don't know where to get it. Unless there's another place. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What's that over there? Two wagons. There's two wagons. Okay, so let's see. We've got um, a farm place here. There's a farm place here. And is there another farm place vehicle store there? Okay, so there's a third one. Hopefully there's a plow at that one. Okay, anything else I'm missing? I got all this stuff up here. That feels for sale. Uh, yeah, Frank's got a manure spreader. Okay, fine. Let's get home. We need to get home. 
So let's see from here if I take if I take uh, what's that field if I take this door, uh, road out here and that way I can get home okay let's get 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 I got farming to do oh, don't what oh man sorry I just plowed up your cement this doesn't have a mini map, does it? Am I on the right road? I'm on the right road. Okay. There's an intersection ahead that I need to take. So we're just enjoying the uh, the scenery up here, and I I I I don't want to take on any more jobs right now. I've got the equipment I need until I get the harvesting done. Um, I don't need the, uh, let's see, I've got a grain trader, but I don't have a straw trader. But, let's see, I need to take a right, okay. Uh, but I don't need it right now, because I haven't done the harvest. So as soon as I get the harvest done, I'm going to need a, a straw pick -em up trailer, or a baler, or something. Here's what I'm thinking. I haven't seen a baler yet that I know of. So I'm thinking, about the time I have straw on the ground, then it's going to come up and say, Hey, fix up my barn and my greenhouse and I'll give you a baler. Or something like that. That's the way the game seems to be working so far. Now I have a reason to spend some money on some flowers and candy. Maybe. I, I still haven't met everybody yet, though, so... Maybe I'll meet a few more people and uh, decide who I want to go a courting with. Froggy went a court and he did ride. Now who's that running? Man, these people, there's no buses. Everybody has to run from point A to point B. Is that Scarlet heading back to her farm? There's another one. Well, I'm not going to track her down. Oh, wait a minute. Who is that? They won't talk to me. Oh, I, I got to. I got to get. I can't socialize all day. Now I do think I might need to buy some more food. I'm. Did it say I was hungry? Uh, food 59. See, I've only got two cans of food left. Let's have some fish. That'll fill me up there. Alright, let's stop in here. Now that's odd. That's odd. See the barrel? See that barrel down there? The last time I came from my farm that barrel was sitting right here on the corner. And now it's rolled all the way down there. I wonder if it's just loose. It's Lucy Goosey. Hey, buddy. It's Good to see you. Can I help you? How you doing, John? Yeah, I want to buy some food, if you don't mind. Care to trade? Sure. Sure. What do you need? I knew he was going to say that. Um. Oh. Yeah, let's get... What's that? Perfume. Ooh, 264 euros. Holy smokes. 144 euros for a box of chocolates. That is... Not right. What's this? A silver ring and a golden ring. Uh, okay. Um, why do you have to give him flowers? $36 for a tulip. It's a casual gift. Casual gift. A perfect gift. And perfect gift. So, okay. What's this for? Expensive item. Perfect gift for a woman. Expensive item. Perfect gift for a woman. Okay. Well, I suppose we're supposed to start off with the casual gift, I suppose, eh? Like, um, how about a tulip? Let's buy one of those. While well, I got the money. And then, uh, this stuff. Now look, this jewelry's cheaper than a bottle of perfume. That's not right. 300 euros. Alright, well that's enough. Let's buy some food. Um, 
Let me buy another one of them fishy things. Uh, oh, wait a minute. He doesn't have the fishy things that I've been in the aroma stuff. What? I must have bought all he had. Whoa. What's this? Zucchini soup. All right. You know what? I might I might have to give him some of my tomatoes and stuff to get the, for so he can make the soup. Let's get... I don't want 12 of them. Let's get uh, two of them. All right. Let's get out of here. Thank you, John. See you later. Later, Tater. Okay, so... Um, in between episodes when I was traveling around, like I told you, I had to drop the plow and come home and get some sleep. I had to stop and get some fuel. I drove by on my way home from the fuel shop, which was down here. I stopped by this place and I bought some seeds. I bought uh, pumpkin seeds. I bought uh, zucchini and I bought tomatoes. So I've got more stuff to plant. So let me go check that out. Let's drop the plow here and unhook from it. Oh, is that my teeth? Oh, is that my eyeballs and my teeth? That's gross. Oh. Ew. Okay, we're going to hook that up to the trailer in a minute here. But let me, let me get in here. See how our tomatoes are doing. I don't see any tomatoes on the tomato vines. So I don't know how this works. I don't know if I'm supposed to be watering them. I mentioned that before. Am I supposed to get up there and crap on them for fertilizer? Am I, you know, is there water I'm supposed to do? Let's see, we've got greenhouse seeds. So we've got, we've got zucchini. So let's do some zucchini. And, uh, Put one there, one there, two, three, four, five. Let's do let's do one one tr uh, bench full. I did a little bit more on the tomatoes, but that's okay. I didn't really know what I was doing. Let's let's do uh, pumpkin seeds, and we're gonna put some there, there, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's go with that. And then we've got to get our harvesting started. So let's run up here and grab the harvester. And is that's not the corn header. Whoop. This thing sounds like it runs on steam. Uh, the stupid trees in the way, I can't see about lining up on this thing. Got it. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to put the header down and uh, and uh, turn it on. And it's kind of just work our way in here, I guess. This is kind of weird. Now I'm using the keyboard, so I'm punching the WASD. And then um, I think you can hit the right mouse button and it tells you how much wheat and fuel you got. I don't know what it will hold. It says it's 18% at 217 kilograms, whatever that is. Don't know what that means. Man, the backup lights on this thing are bright. Uh-oh. Moving too fast, I'm missing some grain. Great. So, it's my understanding from conversations 
when I asked uh, different people about, okay, um, have you got any advice? And they've said that um, the newer equipment, you get more grain, um, and it's more efficient. So I'm wondering if I can drive a little bit faster and still and not miss grain. Now here's another thing. Now if you're in the middle of the field, this is weird. This is like a um, uh, optical illusion. Okay, so it it's not here because I can see the edge of the field here where there's no wheat. But if you're in the middle of the field and the wheat is going like that, it makes you feel instead of the wheat moving, it makes you feel like the combine is moving. Darn it, slow it down. So to slow it down, I have to I have to hit the W key, let it go, hit the W key, let it go, hit the W key, let it go. It's just a pain in the ass. Otherwise, you go too fast. Now, I'm, I'm at the edge of the field, so I can't really tell. But if I was in the middle of this field where all I could see was the wheat and not the ground beneath, it actually looks like the combine is swaying back and forth. It's, it's kind of disconcerting. It's just kind of an optical illusion. It's that you're, the movement of the, of the stuff is, uh, I think, I don't, I don't know, I think it is. What's going on? Oh, God. Am I harvesting the grass? Shoot. Let's, uh, let me turn this dang thing off. I don't want to harvest that grass. Let me back it up. All right. And then let's put the pipe out. And let's see. Move, start, stop. Uh, change camera, cruise camera, header up, header on or off, Z. Turn the header off. And let's get out of here. I need to get out of here. Need to go get our tractor and our silly little grain cart there, which isn't very big. It doesn't hold very much. Now, I don't know how much it holds. I'm just guessing if it doesn't look very big. But then again, the harvester's not all that big either. Now here's my other question. At all of these places, I haven't seen a harvester. Where do we get a new harvester? Okay, let me see. Now I may have to... This, uh... Let me off! Why won't it let me off? Oh, don't run over my crops. Oh, you dummy. Oh, what am I going to do now? Oh, jeez. I can't turn around here. I blew it. Yeah, the physics in this game. Uh, it's good that it has physics. It's bad because it's not very realistic. Uh... If you get on a hill, it's willy-nilly on how it slides back and forth. It's kind of weird. All right, let's see if we can get into this thing a little straighter. It wouldn't let me off the tractor. Now, I have to get off the tractor because the combine needs to dump its load. And I need to be able to be on the combine for that to happen. See what I mean? This thing just slides all over the place. Like it's in mud or something. Alright, so I don't think I'm really over the cart, the grain cart. So let me let me see here. Okay, uh, start grain unloading. And then, what are we doing? We're down to 24%, so the track... The um, uh, grain cart doesn't hold very much, I'm guessing. Unless I have to move it. Nope. It's not let me do any more, so. Man, you have to be just in the right spot to be able to get off the combine. I 
Alright, let's see if we can tip this thing. Uh, tipping, tipping, tipping. Raise the trailer. R. R for raise. Let's see. And it's already dumped. So I can bring it back down. That was quick. And I have no idea how do you... Oh, shoot. That tough little tree there. I have no idea how to tell how much grain you've got. Okay, stay off my field. Stay off my field. Now, uh, oh, that's all the grain it had. Okay, so it took it took all the grain. Sweet. Okay, so. Uh, move the pipe, F, it's running, header on or off, header up or down, put the header up, no, down, running, okay, so we're ready to go. Man, I swear, this combine sounds like it's running on steam. And you'd think something this old would have really dark smoke but it has like steamy smoke Isn't that weird I just see a little guy back there dumping coal into this thing okay this is going to take a while yeah that's the thing with this game you don't do anything in a hurry that's for sure I'm moving too fast. All right, all right. Slow it down. It's not like I'm going to get a big yield. I don't want to mess around and not get everything I've got coming to me. And when I went to the agriculture store, um, you can buy chickens and cows there. I didn't do it. I thought about buying some chickens, but I didn't. And I'm not ready for cows yet. I'm 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 worried that this game's going to be a little stricter than Farm Sim 17 because uh, with the animals, I'm worried that uh, if you don't take care of them daily, they're going to die or something's going to happen to them. And I can't afford that, so. I need to be in a position where I'm ready to take care of animals before I buy any, I think. Like, uh, like maybe I'll get a farm wife first, let her take care of damn animals, that's what I think. Or little children, if I have little farm children. Do I have to court little children too? Or do I just pick up orphans on the side of the road? Yeah, I'm afraid this is going to take a while. I might have to do... Yeah, okay, fine. I'll slow down. Okay, I'm stopped. I'm overfilling. Oh! Oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. I wasn't at all paying attention to that. Sorry, I thought you were telling me I was going too fast. Well, now it's telling me I'm going too fast. All right, so, hey, I, what I should probably do is one or two passes stop and empty the thing because it doesn't evidently hold very much uh, F for the pipe out stop right there buddy 99 per no that's the fuel uh, 97 percent it's still 27%. Okay, now 27%, is that my combine or the tractor? The, or, uh, that must have been... Okay, it wasn't the, it wasn't the combine. It was the um, tractor. 
that had 27% in it, so... Whoop! I just smacked my tractor. Alright, back at it. Anyway, as I was going to say, I'm afraid that harvesting is going to be just like plowing. It's going to take me forever to do it. And probably not very much fun to watch. Unless I can babble and babble and babble and say absolutely nothing and be entertaining. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game, making YouTube videos. Just talk and talk and talk. And hopefully what you're saying is entertaining. A little bit more of a headland here so I can turn around and not harvest up grass. I don't want to harvest up grass. I wish there was a way to set the speed so that you can just hold the button down. This my fingers are getting tired. Pushy, 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 pushy. Because I have to, I have to hit the uh, A and the D to steer, and then the W. You know how it works. W A S D. Uh, but because I have to watch my speed, I'm W, 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 A, D, W, A, D, W, W, W. It's just, fingers are getting tired. All right, let me see how full I'm getting. 90%, so let's... Uh, stop it here and I don't know if that trailer will take any more I don't it's not full but I don't know how this works let's find out if I hit the V key no it's taken it okay so now the trailer's half full now I keep turning that off why does it keep starting up again it starts on its own for some reason Huh. Got to be careful, because you'll you'll wither your crops if you drive on them. So well, there's not even an umbrella on this. I hope this guy doesn't French fry his brain. He does have a cap on. That should probably help, I suppose. Oh, sorry. Moving too fast again. Oh, my finger's getting tired. Now, see, I gotta have some kind of a plan here because I've got a little bit of money. But as you could see, stuff's pretty damn expensive. Just for me to get a, a better tractor is 90,000 euros which you'd expect if I want to buy more fields that's gonna cost me money and then I'm supposed to be courting somebody and then I'm supposed to be fixing my house up by putting like you know tile roof on it and all that kind of stuff and I'm not entirely sure what all you can do I'll find out I'll eventually, you know, I'll find out as I play. Hey, you can do this. Hey, you can put a new crapper in the bathroom or, you know, you got a tub in your bathroom. If you want water in it, you have to do this. I don't know. Just guessing. I'm guessing that it's not that sophisticated. I'm guessing most of the stuff in the house is just for looks. 86%, so... Alright, I keep hit, hitting the stop harvesting button and it keeps going. I don't know why. It goes on its own. Alright, am I over the truck? Kind of. Let 
Alright, so 80% in the trailer. See, it started again and I didn't hit the button. I don't know what makes that harvester start up and, and go off because I turned it off. I didn't hit the Z. It's a Z key on the keyboard and I didn't hit it. All I did was hit the WASD and it started up on its own for some reason. Don't know why. It's a farming mystery, I tell you what. Look at that. Master Harvestor. Well, he looks like he's having fun. Look at me, handyman farmer. Has he still got his tool belt? Now, see, look, he doesn't have his tool belt on. I don't see it. So where does he put it when you're farming? Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm not harvesting, so I can go as fast as I want. Don't bug me. I'm getting hungry. Great. I'm getting hungry. Alright, so if I'm getting hungry... Uh, it's only 65% food. I, I'm going to get a little bit more hungry here, because... Uh, yeah, because that, that stuff's expensive. I don't want to waste it. I want to wait to where I'm really hungry and it fills me up instead of I'm partly hungry and it fills me up and wastes a whole can of soup. I'm going to get the biggest bang for the buck. Now see how the wheat moving kind of makes you feel like, well, I don't know. You kind of have to be here, I guess. Um... It's not too bad. What do we got? 63%. Okay, I'm not... See, I keep turning it off and it keeps starting again. What the heck is that all about? Okay, the truck is 98%. So let me pull this thing back out of the way. Put the pipe in. All right, jump out. Let's grab this trailer. What do we have? 4,140 kg, whatever kg is. Alright. Wow, trailer's moving on me. Stop it. Alright. Oh, I jumped out. I didn't mean to jump out. Jeez, it kicked me clear over the railing. I wanted to put my trailer down. Oh, I did it again. I keep hitting that dang tree. This thing doesn't turn very sharp. Oh, whoa, well, I hit the silo. Now we know how the silo got broken. The previous farmer, my granddad, must have been blind and he kept running into the... running into the silo or something. Alrighty, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it an episode here. Oh, my barn has tile on it. Is that tile? No, it's not. It's some kind of composition. Anyway, I'm going to call it an episode here. Hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll finish this up. I might finish this up and start on that one uh, in between time so we can get on to other things. Um, anyway, in the meantime, happy farming.